more than a million ang naka-witness nitong apparition na to. At tinawag tong Our Lady of Saitun. Hello mga ka my name is Adrian Milag and welcome again to my vlog. At kung first time mo dito sa aking YouTube channel, make sure na mag-subscribe ka at click mo yung notification bell button sa baba ng video na to para lagi kang updated sa mga bagong vlog na gagawin ko. Nabalitaan nyo na ba itong nangyaring apparition na to sa Saiton, Cairo in Egypt? Okay, in fact, alam nyo ba na almost more than a million ang naka-witness nitong apparition na to. At tinawag tong Our Lady of Saitun. At mismo, nakita nila in their own eyes si Mama Mary. Talagang as in ang daming nakakita. At kumalat itong uh, apparition na to even sa local media ng Egypt. At na-document nga itong pagpapakita na to ni Mama Mary sa Saitun, Egypt. And mga ka alam nyo, nung nalaman ko itong story na to sa Our Lady of Saitun, ay talagang sobra akong na, na mesmerize sa pangyayaring ito. Kasi dun nga sa Our Lady of Fatima, uh, marami din nakawitness ng Miracles of the Sun, almost 78,000 people, pero hindi nila dun nakita si Mama Mary. Only the miracle lang. Pero dito sa Saitun, Egypt, ay talagang nakita nila in their own eyes si Mama Mary. Etong apparition na to nangyari from 1968 to 1971. Imagine that mga ka Okay? Ganun katagal. <laughs> And even mga foreigners ay nakakita nakita din tong apparition na to. Actually nangyari to sa St. Mary's Orthodox Coptic Church in Saitun, a suburb of Cairo. They saw a luminous figure on the top of the roof of this Coptic church. Alam nyo ba na itong uh, Our Lady of Saitun was a approved apparition from Vatican? Actually, sila mismo ay nagpadala doon ng mag-iimbestiga dito sa apparition na to. At mismo yung mga taga Vatican ay nasaksihan din talaga yung pagpapakita ni Mama Mary. Nagsimula to noong April 2, 1968 na merong isang uh, lalaki. He suddenly saw a beautiful young woman standing atop the church roof. Atwa, uh, pangalan ng lalaki nakakita, believe that she She was about to commit suicide. Kala niya magpapakabatay yung babae. So he ran to get help. Then quickly, a crowd of onlookers gathered around the church. Many people saw the woman, but she quickly vanished. So marami din na ang mga taong nakakita nito. And this apparition was most frequently occurred on feast days. Some lasted several minutes. But the longest went on for up to 9 hours lang wow! naman mga kapit. <laughs> so na-imagine nyo yung pangyayaring ito na nakikita mo si Mama Mary ng 9 hours. ba diba, sobrang nakaka-bless yun? What a privilege. Almost 1 million na tao ang nakakita kay Mama Mary. ba? Diba? So sana all. ba? Diba? Holy ending nga it, ang tawag dito eh. <laughs> Many witnesses recall Mary holding an olive branch a symbol of the peace that then like now was so desperately needed in the Middle East blessing the crowds bowing in front of a cross and walking across the church domes at one point a crowd estimated at 250,000 was present during an apparition In addition to Mary, many witnesses to this apparition also report seeing luminous doves flying at night, which these birds do not normally do, and bright colors flashing, reminiscent of the miracle of the sun in Fatima. Sometimes Mary was seen, ito mga kapit, ha, accompanied by Saint Joseph, or cradling Jesus, who appeared to be about 12 years old. Many recalled the scent of the incense in Saiton, as in Lourdes, many miraculous healings confirmed 
by non-Christian medical professionals were recorded among these present in Saitun in 1968 to 1971. As were numerous conversion, interestingly, Mary said nothing at Saitun choosing to communicate through silence. So, hindi nagsasalita si Mama Mary. Nakikita lang nila gumagalaw, uh, naglalakad, tas binibless yung mga tao. Pero okay lang, di ba? At least nakikita mo, the mother of Jesus, the favored one, our lady, our blessed mother. Grabe to mga ka-faith. Dahil nga sobrang napamalita, kumalat, kumbaga nag-viral itong pangyayari na ito. So, Egypt secular authorities and police ordered an investigation of the unusual events. However, ito mga kafita, they could find no lighting, projectors, or any other devices necessary to pull off a hoax within a 15-mile radius of St. Mary's Church. So, ilig sabihin, wala silang napatunayan na pangloloko at peke itong pagpapakita ni Mama Mary. Hindi nila ma-explain kung paano to nangyayari. Egyptian newspapers publish numerous photos of the alleged apparition and Egyptian television broadcasted video footage. Itong uh, apparition na to was been broadcasted by their local media. Alam nyo mga faith kung usong-uso na nun yung sa social media, yung mga uh, mobile phone, mga smart mga smartphone, malamang talaga nag-viral yung pangyayari na yan sa Saiton, Egypt. After ng uh, vlog na to, ay ipapanood ko sa inyo yung uh, napanood kong clip regarding sa nangyaring aparisyon na to sa Saiton, Egypt. Meron kayong makikita dyan na mga mismong witnesses, mga nakakita mismo ng alleged aparisyon na to. At sobra kayong mabibless sa mga isi-share nila dyan mga ka Watch this video. One of the most amazing events in recent history occurred in Zaitun, Egypt, where the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to more than half a million people from 1968 to 1970 atop St. Mary's Coptic Orthodox Church. It began one night when a witness to the vision pointed at what he believed was a young woman about to commit suicide. Archdeacon Yusuf Kamel He looked at the church first, he saw a ball of light. That light developed to be a young lady on top of the dome in the middle of the church. After a while, all passing by stopped to see the girl that commit suicide from on top of the church. Suddenly, the Christian people cried, that is not a girl, that is the Virgin Mary. The girl on top of the church turned and faced them, and then floating over the middle dome, she came near the end, the, the front end of the church, and blessed them all. You had a tremendous circumstance because not just one or two or six or seven people, seeing the Virgin Mary, but hundreds of thousands, including former President Abdul Nasser, government officials, officials of the church, the Orthodox Church, as well as Catholics, Protestants, Pentecostalists. You had them gathering every night for several years. For the first time in human history, thousands of believers and non-believers all experienced the same inexplicable phenomenon. Dr. Kerry Malik was just one of the many witnesses. She stood there for a while and then she began to walk on the roof till she reached the cross and she knelt in front of the cross. She looked towards the area where I was and she smiled. That view was the most majestic and beautiful and heavenly view I have ever laid my eyes on. I, I don't believe I saw her. Or why she showed herself for me? Why St. Mary showed herself for someone like me? A sheet of light just out of nowhere appeared on the top of the church. And my sister-in-law says, look, she's standing there. She came down, she stood on the ground beside the church. And then she moved into the church. And then she vanished. 
many hundreds and then thousands and tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of people congregated there and for themselves saw a phenomenon and strange smoke and what looked like nearly luminous birds or doves. And this went on for several years to the point where, by some estimates, a million people saw the Virgin Mary in Zaytun or some type of supernatural phenomenon. The question is, why Zaytun? Why Egypt in the mid-1960s when the Middle East was a powder keg? War was in the air, a massacre had been plotted. The homes of Christians were marked for blood. Peace, it seems, would take a miracle. They marked every house of the Christians with a red cross. And then appeared a Virgin Mary. And instead of taking revenge of them, she cured them, healed them, gave them sight. The paralyzed began to walk. I heard a, a man uh, shouting, I see, I see. I was told the man was a blind Muslim and the Holy Mother gave him back his eyesight. I can see. His eyes were open and saw the figure of the Virgin in front of him, on top of the church. The man was hysterical. He cried out. The miracle happened. The miracle happened. The miracle happened. I can see. And began stretching his hands. Stop everyone around him. One girl named Teresa Galila had polio when she was about six months old. She could drag her legs with crutches, and she was healed at Saitun. And I had seen her walking. One of the most amazing miracles of healing occurred to a woman with breast cancer who came to Zaitun in search of a cure. One night as she lay sleeping in a room near the Church of St. Mary's, she had a vision of the Blessed Virgin Mary. I see the Virgin. She's standing by my bed. No, she's, she's by the window. No, she's gone. Before she go to sleep, deep sleep, she felt the virgin coming in with a small boy. Then boy gave her a small knife or something like that. And the virgin told her, I am going to remove the cancer from your breast. Uh, oh, it's painful. Oh, oh, I, I can feel it. Oh. The next morning, the priest found a bowl of tissue next to her bed, and she was covered by a cloth with the sign of the cross written in blood. The amazing thing is, there is no sign of any wound or any opening or anything. X-rays, uh, analysis, proof that is free from cancer completely. The unexplainable, miraculous events of Zaytun, Egypt, are best understood by analyzing the testimony of the living witnesses. A study conducted by physicist Dr. John Jackson. All the uh, witnesses to the Zaytun event virtually uh, agreed amongst themselves as to what they saw. And so I think it's possible to construct what I would call a standard apparition uh, of what, was, what had occurred. The apparition was self-luminous. Most of the people would say they could see some features. Virtually everybody said the apparition would move in a natural manner and look very realistic. Some people would say the apparition was bigger than life uh, in terms of its size. What's interesting about it is that you had so many people who come from so many different parts of the, of the, of the world, really, coming together to agree that this is what generally people saw. And the more compelling evidence was found through analysis of the photos, which Dr. Jackson verified as authentic. The question is, are those real photographs? What you look for in uh, a scientific evaluation of these photographs are internal consistencies or inconsistencies. I spent uh, a lot of time studying those photographs and I can't see any inconsistencies. So if that's true, 
then that would argue that the apparition was able to generate physical light that was able to go to a camera, uh, go through the optics, record itself on the photographic emulsion of the film as a photochemical reaction, and hence you have something physical associated with the, the apparitions. On the anniversary of the apparition at Tlaiton, Pope Kirolos VI declared that this was indeed an authentic appearance of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whose silent message of love and hope had miraculously brought peace to the religious conflict within Egypt. Something very strange has happened here, perhaps something profound. You might be dealing with a phenomenon that lies out of heretofore classical science, and we have to be prepared for that. Ayan, di ba sobrang nakakamangha at nakakabless yung pangyayari na yan sa Egypt. And Our Lady of Saiton, pray for us. And mga ka uh, dito natin makikita that God is still working. Di ba? Until now, hindi lang yung mga pangyayari nun sa Bible, yung mga miracles na nababasa natin sa Bible na parang inisip natin, ah, paano nangyari ito? Di ba? Ah, talaga minsan nakakamangha eh. Parang bihira ka lang makakita ng mga ganyang... Actually, parang hindi ka pa nakakita sa buong buhay mo na mga pangyayaring nangyayari sa Bible. Pero mga ka-faith, yung pangyayari na yan na Marian Apparition sa Saiton, Egypt, uh, dito natin masasabi that God still working in our life. Okay, nagpapakita pa rin siya ng mga signs and wonder dito sa mundong to. Through this uh, Marian apparition, ay mas pinapatatag nito ang ating pananampalataya. Through this Marian apparition, dito natin masasabi that Christianity that we believe in is true and real. And only in the Catholic Church nangyayari yung mga apparition na yan. Only in the Catholic Church. Kaya no wonder why many anti-Catholics okay, at yung mga ibang part ng organization ay hate na hate nila si Mama Mary. Kasi hindi nangyayari sa kanila yung mga ganyang apparition na yan. <laughs> diba? Malamang, eh, yung mga anti-Catholic na map- mapapanood itong vlog na to, sasabihin na naman, ay, nako! Kalukuhan yan! Okay, ano na naman yung mga paniniwala niya? Mga naniniwala kay sa rebulto! Hindi Diyos si Mama Mary. Dapat direct to Jesus, direct to God. ba? Diba? Yung mga paratang nila, matagal na nating sinagot. Alam naman natin mga katoliko, na yung doktrina natin, yung paniniwala natin, that we do not worship Mary, we just venerate her, we respect her because she is the mother of Jesus. ba? Diba? Kung ang Diyos nga ay eh, pinadaan si Jesus kay Mama Mary. Kung ang Diyos nga ay honor niya si Mama Mary. She was conceived without sin. Tapos ito mga non-Catholics na to ay grabe, makabash kay Mama Mary, ba? Diba? Kaya... Ipagdasal na lang talaga natin sila. Kaya itong mga aparisyon na meron tayo sa simbahang katoliko, ito yung nagpapatunay that our mother is really present in our midst. That she is there always to pray for us, to intercede us, and to bless us. Ito yung mga message niya na patuloy niya sinasabi sa buong mundo is you to pray the rosary, pray for the sinners, pray for the soul, pray the divine mercy chaplet, sacrifice, to fast. Ito yung palaging mensahe sa atin ni Mama Mary. And to receive the Eucharist. Why? Because ito yung magpapalapit lalo sa atin sa anak niyang si Jesus. Ito yung magpapalago sa atin bilang isang Kristiyano at bilang isang Katoliko. Kung sa tingin mo na na-bless at na-inspire ka dyan sa story ng Our Lady of Saiton, Make sure na i-share mo to sa inyong mga friends and relatives. Okay? So, thank you and God bless. Sa mga nagtatanong pala sa canvas print ng Our Lady of the End Times, ano nga ba ang Our Lady of the End Times? Mr. Ed Sol C. Celestial was inspired to paint a portrait of Mary that combines the seven popular titles of Mary, namely the Immaculate Conception, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, Our Lady of Lourdes, Our Lady of Miraculous Medal, The Immaculate Heart of Mary, and Mary Help of Christians. The painting and the prayer got an imprimatur from Most Reverend Gerardo Alminanza, Bishop of the Diocese of San Carlos. Ayan mga ka-faith, kung interested kayo, 
na ma-avail ang canvas print ng Our Lady of the End Times, ilalagay ko yung link sa taas or sa baba ng video na to. By the way, ang portion ng profit ng mabebenta ng canvas print na to ay idodonate natin sa Mama Mary's Chapel sa Bacolod City. Okay, so thank you and God bless. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope na na-bless at na-inspire ka dito sa aking vlog. Make sure na i-like mo at mag-comment ka sa baba ng video na to at mag-subscribe ka sa aking YouTube channel para lagi ka updated sa mga bagong vlog na gagawin ko. At huwag mo din kakalimutan na i-like ang aking page. So this been Adrian Milag encouraging you to live your life to the fullest. God bless you more abundantly.